Charming evening, your ma. This video explores every crevice of bottom. That would have been more amusing if the initially intended title of your bottom had been permitted. The 1991 to 1995 BBC sitcom, following the squalid, heightened, and ultra violent exploits of Eddie and Richie, two depraved, impoverished London flatmates. The Hammersmith Hard Men situation is commendably minimalist. Many episodes are confined to single settings and simplistic conflict, allowing intimate character familiarity, clear episode identity, distinctive locations, and most importantly, the late Rick Mayer and the early Aid Edmondson's joyfully depraved lunacy to be uninterruptedly showcased through their writing and screen chemistry developed from years of collaboration on projects such as the previously reviewed The Young Ones, in which they worked alongside Christopher Ryan, with whom they reunited here thanks to his recurring role as Dave Hedgehog. If you're wondering why they call him that, then give him a hedgehog and he'll show you why. Controlled fluctuation between sharp idle banter, exaggerated behaviour, sexual desperation, and the aforementioned borderline acrobatic slapstick violence, exploiting life-threatening injuries that seldom display lasting damage unless demanded by the plot, ensure the escapades of the badger-seeking Foxy Stoat and his Batman chives hold audience attention. Though extremely elaborate and boisterous, surprisingly fluid characterization is displayed. The role of very relative voice of reason is exchanged between Edward Hitler, any relation, well, he's got a mother, and Richard Richard, depending on the situation. Occasionally their enormous suffering encourages brief humanization and sympathy that counterbalances the usual catharsis of two loathsome individuals, particularly Richie, receiving well-deserved punishment. An underlying sense of casual desperation and sadness flavors the adding trace amounts of relatable realism required for even the most absurd stories to gain viewer investment. This style also answers the ancient and commonly asked riddle, what would happen if Itchy and Scratchy became live-action humans and vaguely attempted to reenact Withnell and I in the 90s? Both Withnell and I and Bottom feature a lead actor named Richard too. That must mean absolutely nothing. Actually, not with Nell and I. Waiting for God was a better comparison. Especially since Bottom was faintly influenced by said Samuel Beckett play. Oh, imagine if the BBC had permitted the show to be called Your Bottom as Rick and Aid had intended. That way, I'd have just said that Your Bottom was influenced by a Samuel Beckett play. Now, that's funny, because it's more likely that Your Bottom was influenced by a Tennessee Williams play. I know mine was. Among Bottom's greatest assets, again, imagine if it was called Your Bottom, are its clear determination and consistency. Openly celebrating base-level lavatorial humour and extreme violence with audacity, honesty and flair, while personal preferences lie with the young ones, which I believe to be marginally more full, rich and varied, thank you very much. Bottom single-mindedness does ensure continuous fan satisfaction, while the young ones balanced several dichotomous aims and the blend of satire and surrealism may result in some viewers believing these ideas conflict or are both underrepresented presented. No such difficulties are apparent in Bottom, thanks to its clear vision that allows it to remain universal and timeless, if somewhat polarising. Anyone adverse to slapstick or crudeness, however entertainingly executed or considered, will fail to see any appeal in this series, so would be wise to avoid Bottom. Any able to find the appeal in such a brand of humour under the right circumstances is advised to attempt Bottom, thanks to its bravery, gleeful anarchy, infectious performances, underlying sense of warmth in spite of its cynicism, and physical precision typically only seen in a see-how-much-custard-you-can-hold-in-your-underpants competition. Bottom is a perfect sitcom. While its availability will differ across territories, on UK's Netflix the entire series is currently available. It can be watched during a rainy day, or even outside in the sun. Remember to bring low-calorie suntan lotion. You squirted the proper suntan lotion onto your cheese roll. Fans of Bottom are encouraged to comment below any other sitcoms they enjoy or even the number of bottom quotes and references you noticed in this very video. I don't actually know the answer to that, but comment all the same, get a bit of interaction going, cop a load of this matey. I will be eagerly checking my emails. Or should I say my Rick mails? I shouldn't, because that makes no sense at all, but I've said it now, so... Thanks for watching, but now I must leave for an Esther Ranson. With chases of Mr. Sheen and Dram Bowie. <laughs> It's the only thing I can do to ease the pain from my sleep-doodling incident. I'm very bad at it. 
So I need you, you need me. Oh my darling, can't you see your bottom? Darling, it's your bottom, it's your bottom. Shouldn't be afraid.